Hello, everyone, and welcome to the National English Speaking Contest. My name is Nora Ming Hai, or you can call me Henry for short. I'm currently、uh, studying at 8A2, located on the secondary school in the、uh, Lao District, Daklak Province, which is famous for、uh, the coffee all over the world. Daklak is also famous for it's the only place in the Vietnam. That conserves the endangered yew. In the past, a small sip from a puddle or a small cut make you go dead. Some bacteria, like anthrax, E. coli, the plague, or even cholera, are deadlier, far deadlier, than COVID-19. And they are、uh, the main majorities of causing pandemics, after viruses, fungi, and protozoas. Nature has even granted them a power which makes the bacteria even more powerful. That is antimicrobial resistance. So, what is antimicrobial resistance, and how can we tackle it? Antibiotic resistance or antimicrobial resistance (AMR for short) is a phenomenon which the, the microorganisms evolve over time to make sure that antibiotics were previously worked on them were no longer effective. Some bacteria are even called superbugs because they are immune to multiple treatments that、uh, today we have, including MRSA. Tuberculosis and E. coli. So, how can we turn the tide on it? Remember that in the future, we may expect that superbugs could kill more people than cancer if the treatment was too short, too weak, or the treatment is incorrect for the infection. We may risk leaving behind superbugs. So, based on this information, we can figure out that the best way to cure them is to limit or cut off the amount of antibiotics we use every day. Because if we don't have a solution to kill them, they will destroy themselves. We also need to work with other people to ensure that the health systems all around the world are ready for a higher.、Uh, Higher increasing、uh, levels of infections that the superbugs may cause. This leads to the end of my presentation. Thanks for your kind listening.